Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's June 24th, Friday morning. Well, things have quieted down somewhat from the uh, excitement that we've seen here the last several days this week. But uh, there is some rebound in the market here this morning. Corn prices, uh, bean prices, and wheat all uh, higher here overnight. And some of that, I believe, is option expiration that has an impact there. The uh, largest open interest yet in the uh, options, around the $7 calls and puts in the July corn contract. So we are... It seems like we're migrating to that $7 area to uh, uh, going into expiration. Other news, uh, Greece has, uh, the news there has quieted down. They've made an agreement with their financiers, the the EU and the uh, uh, IMF have come together on an agreement. Keep them in uh, business or out of default here for another uh, few months. It seems like also we've seen uh, the fund selling subside at least uh, late yesterday and uh, overnight uh, if funds decide to come back in and do some liquidation here uh, at the end of the week, and they could certainly move markets uh, lower again. Crude oil, dollar, uh, all kind of quiet here this morning. Uh, as we speak, the dollar is uh, down a tick or two. The uh, crude oil has went from higher to slightly lower. Uh, not, uh, uh, It seems like everybody there has kind of taken a, a breath after the volatility that we've seen here the last few days. Weather conditions, uh, pretty much ideal for uh, crops throughout most of the Midwest. Uh, and I say most because there are some areas that have got too much water yet, uh, still getting rain. Uh, they've got... Uh, the longer term for longer uh, term forecast has got uh, some dryness coming in it, a dome building uh, out over the uh, Oklahoma area. So uh, that could uh, create some problems here uh, down the road. But right now, uh, heat is what uh, we need for the corn and soybeans in most of the uh, the corn growing area. The uh, low prices certainly has brought in some uh, buyers. The uh, South Koreans tendering for almost 300,000 tons of corn. Uh, rumors still are out there that uh, China has bought corn on this dip. The dip that we've seen in corn has uh, provided the, the proper margins for uh, some purchases by uh, China, or let's say importing of corn uh, that uh, is now uh, advantageous. So uh, it's possible they could uh, buy some corn, but we think uh, they will probably, uh, there probably won't be any announcements here soon. The uh, Argentina wheat planting is moving along. They're about 52% complete. The uh, weather conditions down there are slowing down planting, however. There's been some heavy rains in some areas, so that's uh, setting back their uh, planting uh, slightly here on the uh, the wheat crop. In the livestock trade, cutout values were higher in the beef, up 49 in choice, up 28 in the uh, select. Cash cattle traded uh, yesterday in that 109 to 112 area, which is steady uh, to a little higher, but late in the day, uh, from what we understand, uh, prices slipped back a little bit and more of a steady market uh, compared to last week. Uh, cutout values in the pork up two dollars and thirty six cents. We do have a hogs and pigs report out this afternoon. Uh, the uh, thing that trade is going to be watching there is the size of this hog crop. What kind of what numbers do we have in uh, kept for marking marketing and how uh, slaughter uh, supplies have uh, moved there over the last quarter. That uh, is, will give us a key on uh, demand for corn and could have an impact on corn come Sunday night. So things, uh, a lot of things to watch here. We're going into next week where we've got a uh, tremendous amount of uh, reports, option expiration uh, today. We've got, uh, and the adjustment of that will come Sunday night, uh, Monday morning. Uh, we will uh, also have the uh, quarterly crop report on Thursday, We've our quarterly uh, stocks report, the uh, planted acreage report, 
and then first notice day. So uh, a lot ahead of us. Stay in touch with Allendale Research. We'll uh, try to answer any questions that you might have. You can reach us at 800-262-7538. We wish you a very successful trading day. Talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank